Hi guys, and welcome to my den where we're gonna share another shave today. Today's a little bit different because as you probably have noticed, well, you probably haven't noticed because I don't show you all that much, but I haven't bought a new razor in quite a while. And I bought a supply um, injector type razor. Uh, I had an opportunity to pick one up and I did. And this one is an adjustable, an adjustable razor. Um, I'm gonna open it up here. I have a pre-recorded another segment where when I unboxed it. As you guys know, I'm pretty fond of my uh, Schick Type M uh, adjustable uh, injector razor. But I was curious about the supply, and when uh, I saw an opportunity come along to pick one up, I picked one up, and here we are unboxing it. Now I had had it out of the box once, um, mostly making sure everything is still there. The packaging is is top notch. Everything fits right in where it's supposed to be. This is the razor itself. You can see it's a stainless steel, very sleek, uh, kind of modern looking. The head is a little bit blocky looking compared to the uh, to the Schick, and it's substantially heavier. Also in this box, I haven't been under here yet, so we're gonna see what this is. Oh, looks like they sent me some blades. I'm using uh, Persona injector blades in there right now. That's what I stuck in. It looks like they uh, included their own supply brand um, blades, which I have don't have never tried. So we'll see how these go. I got quite a few of the other. These are made in Japan. I know that the. Uh, uh, the Schick branded blades are made in China, so it'll be interesting to see how these uh, how these hold up. Now, looking at the uh, adjustments, uh, the uh, supply razor starts with the one and has like a roller thing you can. Uh, kind of go on the fly and and you can see you can see it moving this part let's see if you can I'll take it all the way shut here it is at, at one and you can just see it opening up as you as you crank it up and it goes up to six and that's a big wide open maw there um, with the uh, Type M, this is it at one, and then we'll open it up, and you can see how it pivots forward and down, uh, and opens up that way. So that's how all that works. And we're going to go back to the back to the den and. Put her to use to see how they work. Uh, today we're going to be using um, Parasso's, uh, what is this? Cypress and Vetiver. Um, it came in a big pouch and then as I used it, I finally got it down to a little soap container and it's been in here for quite a while. So I'm, we'll see if it it looks like it's kind of hardened up a little bit in there and uh, we'll be using a little brush this is a synthetic uh, I call it the Red Baron brush but it's just a cheapie that I got and I put it in an El Cheapo and now both of these have persona blades in them and uh, we'll let her rip see what happens Cold water shave today because it's pretty warm outside. We do have the window open only because 
somebody, I'm not going to mention any names, but was demanding that I open the window. So I did. Now, it, I tried this soap a little while ago and it wasn't pumping. So I put some water in. And so now it's just soapy water coming out. My mistake. But we'll see how it does. I'll put a little bit of it on here. I could probably shave just like this, but then I don't know about reapplying it after after the pass, so we'll doesn't look like it's gonna lather up very good. Well it's an experiment, we're gonna see. At the very worst, I'm going to have some soap on this. A little bit of soap on the, this brush. And it'll... I'll be able to put a little bit... Oh, here we go. The instructions say, I uh, use within a year after opening the package. And I know it's, oh, three or four, at least since I opened this package. But it was like half a liter of soap. And, uh, you know, I don't, when you have a whole cabinet full of soap behind you, you don't always get the chance to use a half liter of soap. I got it on a piff, I think. Now, let's start out with old familiar here. I'm gonna do like one side with the Schick injector on number four, which is like the yeah, middle. keep it fair I'll do like checkerboard like how's that left side of my face and right side of my neck or something like that I'm quite fond of this razor gives pretty good shaves yeah we'll see how this goes now it has a zero to six also. So I think I'll turn it to four. This, for consistency's sake, we'll see how it does. Hmm. That was way, way milder. I don't feel the blade. Let me look up here, see if it's cutting anything off. I can't tell if it's removing hair or not. Now the instructions that are in the box said put Put the logo against your face, which is up here. They're wanting you to ride the cap. Hmm. Well, a lot of soap came through. Well, number four on this one is way less effective than four on that one. So I'm gonna hook, turn this one up to five and leave that one at four and we'll see how that does. It's 
this may take more than more than two passes I kind of a two pass sort of guy because hey I don't have a lot of whiskers in the first place and two I don't want to hold you guys up make these any longer than my attention deficit friends or me because I think I got a little bit too squirrel um now let's go across the grain towards the middle Okay. Now it was removing hair that was left from the first pass on the supply. Now we got supply at number five. We'll see how that does. Well, at least I can feel a little bit of the blade now. As with this type of razor, the blade is pretty stiff. In other words, it's not a very flexible blade, but it's held pretty, pretty uh, sturdily in, in the fixture on both of these. And four seems to be equivalent to a Five is the equivalent of a three or four in this one. So it's running a little bit. And, and looking at the blade exposure, there's a lot more. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, yeah you can. There's a lot more blade sticking out on the, on the supply than there is on the uh, shick. But the uh, gap here, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to clear the, to have a lot, you know, sticking out to, oh, there we go. We're probably starting to get a little bit of soap coming out of it. The dispenser, so I'll spread a little on here. We'll do against the grain with a little bit of more soap on there. Quality of the of the razor is nice. I mean, it's a real showpiece as far as fit and finish. overall uh, finish of the of the metal itself it's kind of a frosted metal I don't know like a soda blast or something like that uh, it's pretty like I said it, it's a little on the clunky side looking up here but I'm not afraid of clunky razors I've got a Occam's razor in here somewhere. Uh, I renamed Bullwinkle because uh, let's see what do I do? I started here, 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 here. I'll just do this entire side. Let's supply.
heck, I know how it's gonna turn out. So anyway, let's do the whole thing. The, uh, there's an area underneath here where the, it comes past the blade and where the foam lays. It doesn't rinse out quite as nicely as the shit does. Okay, see what we got. Boy, that doesn't work. It really doesn't like the rinse out of it, does it? After you help with use help from the spigot to rinse it out. So that's that's the shave. Let's see how it feels now. I did get a little bit of a touch of razor burn down here. We'll see what the what the alum says. Because I was a little bit heavy-handed trying to get some blade feel out of that supply. Yeah, it's stinging me a little bit, but nothing terrible. Yeah, I'd say if I do have a little bit of a tingle from the alum, it's because I was applying some pressure trying to get some blade feel. Quality shave razor for razor is pretty good. I'd say they're roughly equivalent. Being as I mixed it up, you can't really tell, I can't tell you, you know, which one has anything to do with the other, but this is the first time I've used it too. Pretty good shave overall. Darn fine shave. With kind of let this dry out a second and we'll uh, hit ourselves with a little bit of the Nivea 2 and one bam, 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 bam. And see how that goes. We had a pretty excellent storm here about an hour ago. Um, hopefully that brings the temperature down. It was searing hot this morning. Searing hot for us is like 90. Um, not like Arizona people who have to bring their cars inside so that the wheels don't melt to the table. Okay, that's pretty good. For our final aftershave, let's, uh, Seeing a nice warm weather. This is this is the same bottle as my mongoose usually comes in, but this is uh, Dollar General's version of of Old Spice. So do Dollar Spice or General General Spice? Oh, that's pretty good. It's been in this bottle for a while, and the fragrances kind of morphed a little bit. It smells more like actual Old Spice than it did when it, I first got it in a plastic container. And because, once again, having a gazillion different kinds of aftershaves that don't go back to old favorite Old Spice very often, so it's a nice opportunity for that. So in the final, for at least Take away from this first try, and we're going to do another one probably. Is that uh, the supply razor is a pretty good razor, and it's heavy and robust. It'll last forever, but it's it's tuned a little bit mild as compared to the Schick Eversharp or 
I guess at, at this point when they came back with the M, it was probably just shook again. So, uh, so far it's a little bit mild. I'm trying to decide if it's worth spending the extra dollars because you can get You can get chicks a lot less expensive than you can a, a uh, supply. So, push your pressures, it's okay. I'm not going to try to justify the, the cost yet until we do maybe the second shot. At any rate, I'm Major Rich, and you will find me at shavingcodger.com. If you're finding me on YouTube and you've made it this far, might as well like and subscribe. I'm going to do some more comparisons like this. Now, I, for budgetary constraints, I don't buy razors that often. So, when I do make a review, I'm going to probably do a couple on this thing until we really come to a decision on whether it's a great one or not. So that's all we have for today. Uh, have a great day and we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.